Welcome to the 2020 World Half Marathon Championships. This race is certainly set to be a very fast one, and with the likes of Joshua Cheptegei, Kambiwat Candier, and the youngster Jacob Kiplimo, we are undoubtedly set for a great performance. Moving into this race, these three favorites have been running tremendous times this year, and amazingly, they have all had undefeated seasons. However, the one athlete that is without question the pre-race favorite is Joshua Cheptegei. This season alone, he has broken three separate world records, and if he can somehow win this race, he will go down in history as one of the all-time greats. To set the stage for this championship matchup, the athletes will run four loops of a five-kilometer course. Now, there are a few quick turnarounds and a myriad of undulating surfaces, but the course is definitely quick. In addition to this speedy course, the weather was calm and cool, basically perfect for a half marathon performance. So now, without further ado, let's kick off the 2020 World Half Marathon Championships. Over the first few opening kilometers, the field was very much bunched together on the streets of Poland. Around the five minute mark, Julian Vonders from Switzerland pushed the pace forward ever so slightly, but soon after he settled back in with the rest of the pack. These opening stages were mostly the athletes settling into their racing rhythm, and with an opening 5km split of 14 minutes and 19 seconds, the field was still extremely large through this opening 5k. Now in yesterday's pre-race video, we talked about a potential world record performance here. However, even after this opening 5000 meters, it was apparent that the world record was not under attack. To give you more perspective on the matter, through the opening 5K, the field was already 30 seconds behind the world record pace of Jeffrey Camworo. So if they were looking to approach this time of 58 minutes and one second, they would need to drastically increase the pace very quickly. However, this did not happen, but the field continued to run very solid through these opening stages. By 20 minutes, the field was still quite large and tucked away running very comfortably was Joshua Cheptegei from Uganda. This easy running was clearly Cheptegei's pre-race strategy, let the others do the work while conserving as much energy as possible. This was a solid racing plan, but the question was, when would he make his move and how fast would he run? Through 10 kilometers, the field split a time of 28 minutes and 23 seconds, representing a slight increase in pace over the previous five kilometers. This pace now put the field right under one hour pace for the half marathon, but given the talent in this field and the fact that they were still running so closely, it was apparent that they could run much quicker. At this point, many still looked extremely fresh, including Gaia Adola from Ethiopia and also Jacob Kiplimo, who was running so effortlessly. I mean, look at his face. It seemed as though he was hardly even breathing at this point in the race. Now, it is important to remember, these athletes were still running very fast. Even though it may look as though they're practically jogging, they're still running around 4 minutes and 30 seconds per mile, or just under 2 minutes and 50 seconds per kilometer. With such a fresh looking field still running solid, it was now a question of when the break would happen and which runners would take the lead. Just before the 15 kilometer split, the athletes started opening up their strides and slightly increasing the pace. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate how gorgeous this ocean front running is? I mean, this is awesome. Through 15 kilometers, Kambawat Candier split a time of 42 minutes and 17 seconds. This split represented the first time any athlete had run under 14 minutes for a 5K split. And with this quick 13.54, the field finally started to spread out. Indeed, there was now a little bit of a gap between the front 10 athletes, but no big move was made, just a small surge to test out the field. Now with less than 15 minutes remaining, it was down to Kiplimo, Candier, and Joshua Cheptegei. These three were my pre-race picks to make the podium, and now it was finally time to watch the race unfold. Over the next few minutes, the young 19-year-old Jacob Kiplimo started to open up some distance on the rest of the field. This was amazing to see, because he really did look effortless, despite running well under 4 minutes and 30 seconds per mile. 
Over the span of just a few minutes, Kiplimo had gapped Joshua Cheptegei, who was now being passed by his fellow Ethiopian rival. This was a completely unforeseen moment for Cheptegei. For this entire season and much of 2019, he had maintained an undefeated streak that blew the minds of many around the world. And even though he seemed invincible before this race, he was falling off the pace. And unfortunately, it appeared as though Cheptegei would have to take his first defeat in over a year. Now the race was down to Jacob Kiplimo and Kambawat Candier. These two runners were completely flying up in the lead, and with such a big gap on the rest of the field, I could not help but think about the last time these two athletes competed. On December 31st of last year, they competed in a 15K race in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and over the final moments of this race, Candier threw down a crazy finish and just edged out Jacob Kiplimo for the victory. This finish had to be on Kiplimo's mind coming down the home stretch here, and with such a potentially dangerous finisher right behind him, he now had to make sure that he was the winner. Through the 20 kilometer mark, Kiplimo split a time of 55 minutes and 55 seconds, and for his last five kilometers, he ran a time of 13 minutes and 38 seconds, which meant that he ran his last three miles at a pace of four minutes and 23 seconds per mile. This 19-year-old was moving. His pace was absolutely searing at this point, but again, he was still running with hardly any emotion on his face, a feat that definitely shows that he is in world-class fitness. Over the final moments of this race, it seemed as though Candier was making a move to get back at Kiplimo. But once Kiplimo reached the finishing stretch, it was finally apparent that he would be the ultimate winner. With a finishing time of 58 minutes and 49 seconds, Kiplimo not only won the World Half Marathon Championships at just 19, but he actually broke the World Championship record, previously held by Jeffrey Kamworo back from 2014. This was an amazing moment for this young Ugandan athlete, and following close behind was Kambawat Kandier, who ran a very respectable time of 58.54. Finishing third for the bronze medal position was a Metawork Valellan, who ran a time of 59 minutes and 8 seconds, and finishing in fourth place, still with a solid time, was Joshua Cheptegei, who ran a time of 59 minutes and 21 seconds. Just like the London Marathon from earlier this month, the pre-race favorite was taken down by quite a considerable margin, and for this 2020 World Half Marathon Championship, Jacob Kiplimo was simply too strong. This kid has had an unreal year, and even though he's only raced on three occasions, he's run some of the fastest times in history. This was a tremendous ending to the 2020 season, and moving into 2021, keep your eyes on Jacob Kiplimo because he is clearly a world record threat. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.